Hi guys, welcome back. So finally I'm in England and I can't wait to take you around. So yeah, and we're gonna start right now. Let's get started. Yeah, I got you guys. So I'm still in Shanghai. I'm in Sonja Thame Town. It is a copy of classic British architecture and it has those beautiful Victorian terraces, red telephone booths and so more. So today that's where we are and this city was built from scratch and it was just built over three years at a cost of 2 billion yuan which is around like 300 million dollars the initiative was established by shanghai planning commission in 2001 as a part of policy to shift population away from the congested city center before this area was a farmland sparely populated featuring more dogs than people Completed in 2006, the Thame Town is a representation of British culture and history and it showcases the landmarks from all over the United Kingdom. Look at this beautiful church. So many people come here to take pictures for their weddings and I think it's amazing. What do you think? Imagine you take beautiful pictures and it looks like you are in London. I feel like it's a good memory for the newlyweds and also tourists and I was also happy and amazed to see this beautiful town. I've never been to UK but I can't wait to go there now because I'm like I need to experience this thing but the real one you know. Because it's a copy, maybe you might think that it was made for business purpose or for tourists, but actually people live there. They have many big, nice, beautiful villas, but you know, because Chinese people like something different since everything look alike. So this place was so expensive. It's really good for wealthy people. I know, I know in the worst, counterfeiting is viewed as a fraud and a crime but in china a copy can be a sign of respect and the process is seen as an, as an art the better the copy the more regards the artist china has a history of preferring copies beginning with qi xinhua the founder of the Qin dynasty and the first emperor of unified china he built replicas of palaces from his conquered rivals as trophies from his conquest So somebody told me that there is a lake close to here so that's where we're walking to we're gonna go and check on that lake and she told me that it's so beautiful
I don't know about you, but I'm so impressed about this idea and how they did it so that people can stay here and enjoy China without going outside of China to look at stuff like this. So they copied so that people can stay here and if they don't have enough money to travel, they can still enjoy a copy. Yeah, I don't think that is exactly the same feeling as if you would be like, you know, in England, but I think it's something. Yeah, it's better than nothing though. One of the things that I really like is this small river behind these beautiful villas. It looks so beautiful and how these villas were built and all of this scenery behind, you know, where people can sit down and enjoy. It was really, really beautiful, like mind blowing. Since we already explored roads and alleys and the living area, so now we're gonna go and check out the place where we can find restaurants and hotels, you know, that commercial area. The commercial area is a kind of an island and it's built on water. It's so impressive and beautiful. This place was so huge. I walked around this town for more than five hours, but I couldn't even finish my walk as I planned. So I finished my day on this bridge, enjoying the sunset and also observing the moon. It was so beautiful. So guys, I think this is nice. I think it's a copy, yes, but still these people, like they created jobs. They created a place where people can live, but still, you know, attract tourists and created shops. So I feel like it's a good project, even if it's copying. And I'm not saying that copying is okay, but yeah, it's creating revenue and it has many advantages. They created a place where people can live, can work. And they also created a place where people can come and have fun and have this, like, you know, experience about traveling abroad. So I think this is smart. I don't know what you think. You can leave me in the comment section what you think about all of these projects. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and see you on Friday with another one. Till then, take care. Goodbye. Ooh, ooh, ooh.